Hey everybody, Invisible Katana here, back again with uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2. I was about to say something totally different. But we're back again in the forest. Running around. I'm And there it is. I really have to remember that that's a thing. What the Twilight Zone or something? Or Alan Wake? Need your help. Well, I was about to say grass. <laughs> Are we going this way? No, 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 no. That's where we just came from. Okay. Yeah, screw it. We're, we're leaving fear behind. We're just we're gonna go for go for the gold. Oh, is this the right way? Oh, this might be the wrong way. I think I was supposed to go towards that light, the other light. Yes. Okay, let's see. Because I did this, walked up here. Then there's a light. Yes. Okay. Here we are. Probably not a beacon of hope, but it's a beacon. Finally. A clearing. Gotta be in there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was a little. Oh, it's something like we. No, it's right here. It's just I'm not supposed to be there. Keep moving. Those freaks had some of the same symptoms as Iroboros. Ubo Robo? <laughs> it's a virus some bad people used in Africa a couple of years ago. Question is, how did it get out here? I forgot about the time frame of this, and for anyone who cares, or even if you don't, I'm going to talk about it because it's involving Resident Evil. But, um. Damn, messed up of me. Okay. But, um. Crap, totally threw myself off. The time frame of this, I believe it's, uh, I want to say 2012. I can't believe it. I got out of there alive. I won't stay in, I won't say in one piece, but alive. I still can't even process what went on there. All that effort in trying to scare us, toy with us. It was madness. Madness. I met up with some guys in the forest, but they didn't believe me. Can't say I blame them. They wouldn't have believed me either. After all, who would dare to go up against the one who saved us all? I can't do this alone. I went to the communications tower to try and call for help, but I couldn't get a signal through. We're all alone out here. But if, uh, excuse me. <laughs> but if we don't get word out, uh, if we don't get word outside, we're all done for. Savior, hell no. She's more like the devil herself. 
Guessing we're going this way. Oh, or not. Leon would have made it. Just saying. Yeah, but the time frame of this is, um, I believe, 2012. <laughs> so, in order, this is actually um, right after 5. It goes... Um, Yeah, so it would go, um, let's see. I can probably break this lock. Okay. It would go five, Revelations two, then it would go Revelations one, and then six, actually. So, that's kind of cool. I like that. Plus, it allows us to see Claire. And that's just nice. Some, some story with her is always good, since we haven't seen her since the freaking dream. They're back. Hide. Dreamcast came out. What's this? Oh, sweet. Can't see. Oh, that didn't do it. That didn't. Okay, okay, it did. Because the Ouroboros are very susceptible to fire damage. Whatever reason. Oh, let's back this way then. So it's over here. But, um, they take a lot of damage from fire-based attacks, so yeah. So it's not what I meant to do. They take a lot of damage from fire-based attacks, and they have that weird, um, I don't know, style, I guess is the best way to say it. How do we make this work? Oh, wait. So, it, it's kind of cool that they're bringing the, the Aurora Boros back. I didn't... You know, particularly like or hate them, like they're neutral as far as I was concerned. I didn't really mind them or anything. They're definitely an interesting enemy for sure. Like when they were revealed in five, they were definitely some crazy things because it's like, like in this they have a bit more structure, um, a more humanoid structure, but in that one, it was seriously like just a bunch of. It was like a bunch of black eels just put together, honestly. It's like the best way I can um, describe it. I'm almost uh, full. There's some weapons combined with every battle to make firebomb. Printer, blah, blah, blah. What else do we have? Rare parts. Yay. Um. Okay. So, 45 handgun. 55 handgun bullets. Okay. Stick with this for a little while. It's kind of cool. Let me get that. Sweet, 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 sweet. Capacity, quick load, and damage level three. Since I'm going to be using this the most, I'll do damage for sure. Actually, I'll just do all of them. I don't. Well, I can't really remember what I did in Revelations 1 if I always put it to one gun. I think in the first one, I switched things around now we're talking. a lot. I think I switched stuff around a, a, a ton of different times. Like, alright, I like this gun better because it has... Um, if I remember right in the first Revelations, guns had their own stats to them anyway. And they might in this, and I just haven't been um, paying like any attention. Can I still spend this stuff? No, we can't. Let's see what my stats are for now. Grab us one. A 
more finish off an enemy that cleared down. Episodes 1 through 4. Fish in a barrel. Defeat at least 5 enemies with 1 exploding bottle or 1 firebomb. Which I probably wouldn't have got um, if I was actually smart. At the least radio not as soon as I ahead. did. Although I think that was only like my second or third time. But I guess I should have seen that the first time really. I can only imagine what's going to happen with those. Jeez. I know he has like... The most ridiculous gun in the whole We're gonna have to series, smash through but the gate. come on. Crap. There's more over there. Oh, crap. We'll bring out the beer and nachos. No. Okay, these, admittedly, way creepier. Way creepier than the, um,. Initial Aurora board. Oh, really gross up close too. That's a good enemy to have in the game. That's really cool. She can see their weak points. Oh man, these things are actually great enemies because not only are they similar to the Ouroboros, but they're also very similar to the yeah, that get generators the from Resident Evil 4 where they have very, very specific weak points. She can see their weak points. Let me get there the other way around. Actually, crap, that's on the other side. There's gotta be like some gate or some little hole in the gate or something that I keep missing that I'm just not seeing. Unless you can 
squeeze through here. Finding a ton of random stuff though. Be cool if it was I was just about to say like, it would be cool if it was another green herb. Maybe so if I could just do this and just knock the whole thing over like ah, and it just <laughs> swings all the way over and hits the gate. Oh, thank you, map. Uh oh. The monster is coming. Yeah. Okay, I suck. The monster. The monster is coming. Just shoot it in the head. Shoot it in the head. Oh, my goodness. The creepy levels are just immense. These things are. There's something ahead. Be careful. These things are just so creepy and deadly. Too creepy and deadly to kind of just let walk around. This is probably a really bad idea, but it's a terrible idea. Be turned around, and of course, there's nothing, there's not even anything in here to get. I think they did it that way on purpose to make you think it would be turned in one direction, so you'd open the door to try to kill it, and it'd be facing right towards you. that master of unlocking thing I was talking about. That was very The best worst lines ever. Why, why, why? Why didn't I see that one coming? I need you to tell me where it's at? Okay, it's in this head. Oh no, I thought I had it. There's too many of them. Come on, let's get out of here. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, no. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Dodge, dodge, dip, dive, and dodge. Jittery backpack. Is this actually the tower? Oh, we made it. This is gonna be like three hours later, so we're gonna do this and then. Well, that was a really long way around. Hmm. No kidding. Very crappy behind video. Jesus, is anyone even out there? Ugh, fucking shit on a stick. That's her. That's my baby. Effing 
That's a mistake. That's my baby. Say that again. This was logged six months ago. Whoa! Jesus, Moira. Your daughter's name is... Moira? Now I have way more yeah. questions. Why? <sighs> hey, kid. You okay? I think that's six two. She's dead. What? Whoa. I highly doubt she's actually dead. But wow. I didn't expect six months. I'm like, okay, it'll be a couple hours and then like Claire said, it was like right after she said that, let's head let's head this way. Next time on Revelations two. Moira was trying to get to that tower when I was with her. I need you to take me there. Can you do that? But if we've been infected with something... I promise I'll catch up! Is this the place? The Bossid? Don't be scared. Interesting. So, you finally came, huh? We are on this motherfucking island! <laughs> so, this is all episode one. I thought just the first part with Claire was... Episode one. Contemplation. Or maybe they just didn't do the next time for episode one. No, that was episode one. Holy crap. That was actually way longer than I was expecting. I, you know, it, it, three women in a berry. Um, granted, I did suck like what a good half an extra half hour out, right out of that because of my excessive lack of skills Next more easily to increase recovery oh yes we're doing this sure wow. Lamp attack power on your movement speed while attacking and beat kills. Well, that's actually really cool. Oh, I guess I didn't have to do this then. Whoopsie. 15,000 and this stuff is increased fire power for first hit, crunch power, sub weapons, more crouch advantage game. Momentary invincibility upon crouching isn't that bad. That's not bad either. Increase knife speed. Clear and Barry become able to perform a follow up. That's pretty cool. Gain ability to attack with the knife while dashing. Also pretty cool. So I'm actually going to unlock this one uh, now. And there goes all my money. Just like a convention or something. I am actually going to end it there gonna end it there on leading into contemplation i think it's a good spot for me to end um i haven't planned this for a while like four hours i think or so or something like that so aside from the half hour of me completely just like, sucking this actually lasted a good amount of time like a good three hours so i think there are four episodes plus there well six whole episodes so that's actually a, a nice amount of time plus you have raid mode and stuff and i bought like the full version of course so i have like um some of the alternate costumes and stuff which i'll definitely check out uh once i beat the game so you know i'll probably do a little video on that like some random stuff i'll definitely do raid mode once i finish everything so i had fun with this it was a good good first day bunch of issues starting off with it and i still kind of wish i just bought it on the playstation so i it would have been much um, more streamlined, but you know, I've at least figured out a lot of the issues. I definitely have fun with it. It's cool playing through. Um, definitely creepy. Definitely difficult with um, just some of the aspects they put in, like the stealth stuff with Barry and um, Natalia was definitely cool. The story I'm definitely enjoying, especially with the way 
um, it ended and it was six months later it was very different than what I was expecting and it also means the little girl survived for six months by herself like I don't think Moira and Claire are dead they're kind of they're probably like on a different island maybe at this point and she thought they both died and they just couldn't go back to get her or whatever happened it's it's a zombie apocalypse or you know, monsters and stuff so I'm excited to get into it um I'm not sure when but you know once I do, please join me for that. Um, of course, thanks for joining me in this episode. If you guys have any comments, you know, of course, put them down in the comment section below. And please join me in the next part.